Welcome to the Year One Learning Hub. Uh, my name's Stephen Pittman, and I'm a Year One teacher and the assistant principal for Stage One. So we don't use the term classroom anymore. We use the term learning hub, and in this learning hub, we have four classes. Um, and this particular area here, we have the home area for my class, 1P. And as you can see, it's set up with a cow, which is a computer on wheels. We have our learning walls over here, our literacy and uh, numeracy learning wall, which the children use every day to help them with their work when they're working independently at their tables. And the learning space over here is set up um, with the round tables and it's flexible each day. Some lessons the children will have a particular seat that, that they sit in. Um, other le lessons they can flexibly move around. And you'll probably notice that we haven't tried to fill up the learning hub with lots of furniture. And that is so that we can have uh, more flexible movement and more space on the carpet. Because in year one, children do often work on the ground when they're playing board games or um, doing any other kind of activity that might require them to move. We've got lots of um, wall space, and this allows us to celebrate the children's work. So we've got some artwork up here, and we've also got our numbers along the wall there as well. Um, as we move through, we're actually moving into another uh, home area, um, and this is 1O across here. That's Miss O'Sullivan's class. And her home area is actually through these doors here. So this is a place where all four classes can come in together. If you want to do some singing or do some movement, you can bring your class in here, close the doors, and that won't bother the other classes. She'll introduce her lessons, and then the children can flow out into the rest of the space here and use the variety of tables and chairs um, to complete their work. Along here, we've got some breakout rooms, which we use for small group work. Um, and we've got some learning and support teachers in the school that may bring children in here to do a small program or an intervention. And they can work one-on-one -on -one in here with students away from the noise of the other classes. As we come along here, we've got another breakout room. As you can see, it's very light and airy. And children can also come in here to do some group work and it also acts as a, an area where we keep all our guided reading books for the teachers to access. And then in here we have another home area. We've got 1D, um, and this is the third class, and they use this space along here, and they have access to that breakout room as well. Over here we have a staff node. It's a bit messy at the moment. Uh, and this is the area where teachers can go in to complete any work, um, work on their programs, finalise assessments, just a quiet space to get prepared for the following week. And then the final home area is uh, actually a 1-2 class, 1-2-T. Um, and again, it's set up similarly with all the children's tote trays, variety of tables for students to work on, uh, an independent area where students can work quietly on their own. Um, and then finally through here, we've got the wet area. And this is the great area actually that we use every single day. We use it particularly in the morning for our guided reading groups. Uh, the tables look empty now, but they'll be set up with fine motor activities um, where the children might manipulate resources like Play-Doh or do tracing handwriting activities and it also acts as a room where we can do our visual art lessons or any science lessons that may be quite messy. And as you can see it's all open plan. <clears throat> so when we do want to come together sometimes classes will co-teach and buddy up so you can see that it allows for easy flow for students to move in between the home areas and come together for their lessons.